Hello viewers, welcome to Inclusivity One channel. If you like our video, please subscribe to our channel and encourage us. Let's start. The purpose of the video is to get an understanding of autonomous vehicles and its levels along with the current scenario with reference to EVs. First, what is autonomous vehicle? Autonomous means to act on its own without any external support. Vehicle means a device used for transporting people or goods from one place to another. Combining together, an autonomous vehicle is a vehicle which can drive by itself without any intervention from outside world such as driver. Thrilling, isn't it? Next, why is it necessary? As per the 2018 survey by WHO, approximately 1.35 million people die every year due to road accident and someone is dead every 24 seconds. Very sad to hear. The causes for these accidents are human error, road condition or environment and vehicle condition. Human error plays a vital role in these accidents. These accidents are preventable. How? by removing the main cause that is human error how can we remove let's come up with a technology which acts as a driver in place of a man that's interesting isn't it yes you had it right this technology is what we call as autonomous driving technology and the vehicles which contain this tech are known as autonomous vehicles best and simple correlating example is a remote controlled car which is a base form of AVs. Let's understand the history of autonomous vehicles. It dates back to 1500s where Leonardo da Vinci had an invention by name self-propelled cart which was capable of moving by itself. Two spiral springs below the cart provide the power to move the wheels. The machine had braking and steering mechanism as well. In 1903, Spanish inventor Leonardo Torres Covedo came up with a remote control named Telekino which was intended to control the flight of airships from ground without risking human lives because these airships were full of explosive hydrogen. Hats off to his social responsibility. In 1925, a radio controlled car was demonstrated by inventor Francis Houdina in New York streets without anyone at the steering wheel. The car used was 1926 Chandler which had a transmitting antenna. This was operated by a person sitting in the another car which was traveling behind. During mid 1900s, many experiments were done by auto manufacturers like General Motors, Mercedes Benz, Toyota, etc along with universities. Some tryout vehicles were GM's Firebird 3, Citrion DS, etc. In 1986, Project Prometheus was launched in Europe. The full form is Program for a European Traffic of Highest Efficiency and Unprecedented Safety. This project was the work of Pan-European Research Organization Eureka, supported by car manufacturers, automotive suppliers and universities. This was one of the vital steps in revolutionizing the auto industry with future technologies and safe mobility. The funding for the project was 749 million euros. This was a major step for state-of-the-art autonomous vehicles. In 1995, the outcome of this project was demonstrated by a Mercedes-Benz S-Class which travelled a round trip from Munich, Germany to Copenhagen, Denmark covering approximately 1800 kilometers with top speed of more than 130 plus kilometers per hour. The car was equipped with video cameras to sense the outside world, some basic sensors and onboard computer to control activities like detecting the road and possibility of collision with outside objects. This paved the way for the next generation ADAS systems like AEB, LDW, ICC, TTIS, VRM, etc. In 1990s, some projects like DARPA, Grand Challenge, also helped in increased research on autonomous vehicles. From 2000s, many automakers and suppliers continuously invested on betterment of driverless technologies plus safety systems, came up with many systems which improved the levels of autonomous vehicles. This was a brief history. Before we go with today's autonomous vehicles, let's understand classification of autonomous vehicles. In 2014, SAE, which is Society of Automobile Engineers, came up with a standard J 
3016 to define the level of automation for any vehicle. This classification is based on the amount of driver involvement and attention required. This standard provides six levels starting from zero up to five levels. Here is the visual chart from SAE showing driver intervention and the features available in market. Let's go through each level and try to understand better. Level zero. As rightly labeled, this level has zero automation. Vehicle controls nothing. It starts with basic assistance like warnings, which is always the first step of safety. This is 100% manual driving controlled by the driver who has to take care of braking, acceleration and steering. Supervise the environment, be attentive and fully responsible for everything related to that vehicle. Most of the vehicles now on road fall into this category. Some features or technologies available in these vehicles are lane departure warning, forward collision warning, etc. If you want to know the overview of these features, then please have a look at our video made on EDAS systems, which will give you a better awareness. Next is level one. The basic assistant features from level zero have been improved to make it automated. So level one started off with basic automation. Here the vehicle starts controlling some activities like braking, acceleration or steering when there is a necessity. The remaining aspects like either steering or braking acceleration, supervision, attention and responsibility lies with the driver. Some of the vehicles with technologies like adaptive cruise control or automatic emergency braking or lane keeping assistance etc come under level 1. Next is level 2. This level has better automation compared to level Level one. Here the vehicle control both steering as well as braking acceleration. Interesting isn't it? This means the vehicle can drive on its own with driver's supervision, attention and responsibility. This level is most suitable in places which are less distracted like highways or parking areas etc. Technologies from vehicle manufacturers such as Tesla Autopilot, Volvo Pilot Assist, Hyundai Highway Driving Assist, Ford Blue Cruise etc fall under level 2 automation. Coming to level 3, the vehicle will start sensing the environment in a better way compared to previous levels. This means vehicle can steer, brake, accelerate on its own under given conditions. Vehicle will not have the control if some predetermined conditions are not met. In such situations, driver has to take over from the vehicle. From this level onwards, vehicle will drive more than the driver, which is a good news wherein driver fatigue will reduce to some extent. Vehicles like Honda with traffic jam assistance system, Audi A8 with with traffic jam pilot, Mercedes-Benz with drive pilot demonstrate third level of automation. Next we move on to level 4. In this level, the vehicles can drive without a driver from point A to point B within predefined geographic boundaries. Vehicles falling under this level can perform all actions of a driver in most of the conditions. Under extreme conditions like severe weather, lack of infrastructure for vehicle to operate may lead to driver's intervention. Manufacturers like Waymo, Navia are exhibiting the level 4 capabilities in their vehicles. Next is level 5. We reach to this final level of automation wherein the vehicles clearing this level are no as complete autonomous vehicles. Vehicle will have full control under any given condition with 100% responsibility. Having a steering wheel on the vehicle would be an option similar to the two wheelers having kick start as an option after the commercialization of electric start button. None of the vehicles have exhibited this level of automation till now. The infrastructure and technology availability would decide the proper implementation of this level. To sum it up, most of the countries come under level 1 of automation with basic infrastructure available. Some developed countries from European and American continent are ready with level 2 automation. After the understanding on the levels, let's understand the pros and cons of autonomous vehicles. Coming to positives. First and foremost would be safety by reduction of accidents. Most accidents due to human error would stop as there would be no human intervention. Reduction of driver fatigue is next advantage which improves human health. Third is reduced logistics time in case of truck industry as vehicle does not need any rest time like human drivers. Fourth, better communication between the vehicles leads to better use of roads at any given time. Fifth advantage is autonomous vehicles will be easier means of travel for elders and disabled persons. Sixth, almost zero traffic violations, isn't it? Seventh, next would be the reduced insurance costs, saving on fuel and the list goes on. Now coming to negative or weaker shades of autonomous vehicles. First is availability of full-fledged infrastructure 
for fully autonomous vehicle to operate. Second, there may be job losses for the drivers in the auto industry. Third, security threat from hackers which might be a big impact. Fourth is level of decision making of a vehicle system which can take long time to match that of a human being. Fifth, vehicle cost and maintenance cost may go high due to these add-on technologies. Six, severe weather conditions will be a big concern. Next, the joy of driving will be gone. And some more. Finally, to summarize, autonomous vehicles are one of the vital inventions in the auto industry and will become part of our life in near future wherein we depend on them for our enhanced life journey. The best way is to use this technology sensibly for betterment of our mother earth. Here we end. Hope we tried to give our audience an overview of AVs. If you liked our efforts, then please subscribe to our channel, give it a like and share with your tech community. Please don't forget to comment on the video for any appreciation or improvement which will guide us for betterment. Thank you for watching. Have a happy and safe day. Take care. Bye-bye.